Dear audience, welcome back to our channel. With the rise of Chinese technology companies on the global stage, patent cross-licensing has become an important means to promote cooperation and resolve disputes. The patent cross-licensing agreement signed by companies such as Huawei, ZTE, and Vivo signify a new chapter in cooperation among Chinese enterprises. This not only combines technological innovation with intellectual property protection but also symbolizes the continuous development of China's technology industry. In this new landscape, we can't help but ponder, 1. What is the significance of patent cross-licensing for the development of Chinese technology companies? How does it promote technological innovation and industrial upgrading? 2. Does the signing of patent cross-licensing agreements among Chinese companies reflect a transformation in China's technology industry ecosystem? How will this transformation impact the global technology landscape? 3. Could patent cross-licensing become a paradigm for resolving industry disputes and promoting global technological cooperation? How will Chinese technology companies continue to play a leading role on the global stage in the future? On March 5, ZTE announced on its official website that it had reached a global patent cross-licensing agreement with the smartphone manufacturer Vivo. This significant move indicates deepened cooperation between the two companies in the field of intellectual property and successfully resolves historical patent disputes between them. Similarly, on March 5, Huawei also announced a similar global agreement with Vivo. The cross-licensing agreement involves a range of core standard essential patents, including 5G, in cellular communication technology. Both companies are among the world's leaders in the communication industry's patent holdings. According to the latest statistics, by the end of 2022, Huawei already had over 120,000 valid patents recognized globally. Recently, a key term, cross-licensing, has frequently appeared in the fields of scientific research, innovation, and intellectual property. Especially since last year, we have noticed a significant increase in cases of patent cross-licensing agreements among leading enterprises in the mobile communication industry, both domestically and internationally, as well as among Chinese equipment manufacturers. This phenomenon provides an important perspective for understanding the dynamics of the industry. By analyzing the industry structure behind these phenomena, it is not difficult to see that cross-licensing is not only a reasonable decision made by leading companies in the industry to pursue common interests, but also a trend that may evolve into building a healthy industry ecosystem within China, promoting innovation cycles, and achieving sustainable development. In the past two years, significant events have continuously emerged in the fields of technology and patents. Among them, a series of patent cross-licensing agreements signed between leading mobile communication companies and equipment manufacturers, domestically and internationally, have become a focus of attention. These agreements have developed in parallel with frequent patent disputes, sometimes intertwining with each other, collectively constituting two major trends in the field. On October 8, 2021, OPPO and Sharp announced a significant patent cross-licensing agreement and initiated cooperation. This agreement includes all the patents necessary for implementing communication technology standards globally, effectively resolving their patent disputes in multiple countries and regions. Following this, on December 9, 2022, Huawei announced on the same day that it had signed a global patent cross-licensing agreement with OPPO and Samsung, involving several fundamental patents in cellular communication standards, including 5G. Through these cross-licensing agreements, patent issues between companies were effectively resolved, which also promoted the industry's health and sustainable development, gradually becoming the preferred way for the industry to handle patent disputes. By 2023, it could be considered a bumper year for companies in the communication industry and mobile device manufacturers to reach patent cross-licensing agreements. On August 25, Huawei and Ericsson announced a long-term global patent cross-licensing agreement. This agreement not only includes patents for cellular technologies such as 3G divided by 4G divided by 5G but also covers fundamental patents of widely adopted standards formulated by institutions such as 3GPP, ITU, IEEE, and IETF. In 2023, Huawei, along with Xiaomi, Sharp, 
Honor, OPPO, Vivo, and other Chinese smartphone manufacturers successively reached a series of global patent cross-licensing agreements with communication companies such as Nokia, mainly focusing on 5G and other cellular technologies. These measures not only ended previous patent disputes but also signaled China's leading position in 5G standard technology and R&D. According to reports from LexisNexis iPolitics and the International Institute of Information and Communication Technology, Huawei, ZTE, OPPO, Lenovo, Vivo, and Xiaomi are among the leading parties in the global 5G patent holder rankings. With the growth of China's research and development capabilities and the number of patents, the role and influence of Chinese companies in Global Standard Essential Patent SEP, licensing negotiations are undergoing significant changes. Once mainly as licensees, Chinese companies now seek the best solutions to patent licensing issues under the fair, reasonable, and non-discriminatory FRAND, principles as key implementers and major rights holders. Traditionally, it has been a common consensus in the communication and smartphone industries to appropriately compensate innovators for the use of patented technology. However, the primary dispute between rights holders and standard adopters often revolves around how to determine a fair licensing rate, which frequently leads to complex legal disputes. In an increasingly balanced competitive environment, industry-leading Chinese companies with large patent portfolios choose cross-licensing as an ideal strategy to resolve patent disputes and jointly build a healthy industry ecosystem. In the future, the industry may see more Chinese companies opening up broader collaboration spaces in the field of patent licensing through cooperation. Indeed, as we look around the current tech landscape, the once-revered industry giants are no longer the sole leaders. A force from the east is rapidly rising, unleashing astonishing energy and impacting the entire industry chain. You might wonder, what is this emerging force? The answer lies in Chinese tech companies. Now, Chinese tech giants are no longer just drifting with the current, they are actively forging ahead, crafting a new chapter for Chinese technology. Chinese tech giants such as Huawei, ZTE, and Vivo have achieved unprecedented cooperation through global patent cross-licensing agreements. These companies have not only reached broad consensus on 5G standard essential patents but also demonstrated a new model for rational resolution of patent issues. This cooperation reflects the rapid evolution of China's innovation ecosystem and the atmosphere of mutually beneficial cooperation. These achievements are the result of continuous investment by Chinese companies in research and development. They have injected substantial funds to achieve leadership in the communication industry and have made significant achievements in the international 5G patent race. For example, reports from LexisNexis iPolitics and the China Academy of Information and Communications Technology show that Huawei, ZTE, and other Chinese companies occupy significant positions in global 5G SEP declarations. ZTE's products showcased at the World Mobile Congress, such as the Nubia Pad 3D2 and Z60 Ultra, highlight its technological innovation capabilities. These products are not only technologically advanced, but also offer excellent value for money, demonstrating the vitality of China's technology industry. In summary, the continuous advancement of Chinese communication technology will integrate more innovation into consumer products, providing consumers with outstanding experiences. The practice of patent cross-licensing will accelerate this process, and it is expected that China will continue to showcase remarkable innovative achievements on the global stage. Finally, let me summarize today's video, hoping it has inspired and provided value to you. As a seasoned blogger, I'd like to share my perspective on patent cross-licensing agreements. In recent years, the trend of Chinese technology companies signing patent cross-licensing agreements has become increasingly apparent, marking a positive transformation in China's technology industry cooperation model. Through collaboration, companies can not only resolve patent disputes but also share technological achievements, driving continuous innovation and progress in the industry. This collaborative model helps build a favorable competitive environment and promotes the healthy development of the entire industry chain. However, I also have some concerns and suggestions. Firstly, while patent cross-licensing agreements help resolve patent disputes, 
they may also pose competition risks, leading to market monopolies or excessively high technological barriers, limiting the development space for other companies. Therefore, it is necessary to establish corresponding regulatory mechanisms to ensure fair and transparent cooperation. Secondly, although Chinese technology companies are increasingly prominent on the global stage, they also face international competition and challenges. Therefore, we need to focus more on independent innovation, increase investment in core technology research and development, and enhance our own competitiveness and risk resistance. In conclusion, patent cross-licensing agreements are an important step in the development of China's technology industry, but it also requires vigilance while promoting cooperation, emphasizing the healthy development of the industry ecosystem, and strengthening our own innovation capabilities to maintain an unbeatable position in global technology competition. The role of Chinese technology companies in the global technology industry ecosystem is also undergoing a transformation. In the past, Chinese technology companies mainly relied on introducing foreign technology, but now they are increasingly focusing on independent innovation and even leading global technology development in some fields. And patent cross-licensing is one of the important tools in this process. Through technical exchanges and cooperation with international advanced companies, Chinese technology companies continuously enhance their technical level and innovation capabilities, finding their own place in the global technology industry ecosystem. Chinese technology companies playing a leading role on the global stage also need to face some challenges. For example, how to protect their intellectual property rights in global competition, and how to maximize their interests while complying with international rules, etc. Therefore, in the future, Chinese technology companies need to have a deeper understanding and grasp of the rules and strategies of patent cross-licensing to better play their role on the global stage. The impact of patent cross-licensing on Chinese technology companies is profound. It not only promotes technological innovation and industrial upgrading, but also reflects the transformation of China's technology industry ecosystem and plays an important role in global technological cooperation. In the future, Chinese technology companies need to better utilize this tool to continue playing a leading role on the global stage. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. That's all for today's video, see you next time. Good. Good.